I'd like my my quite life so boring. You say that, and then eventually you're like, oh, why, why am I not doing this? I know. Right, we're going to start holding these weights. <clears throat> I might get some heavier weights. That's cool. I suppose I need to give them some oh, But feel free to say mine if you want to say mine. And all we're going to do is use this to take a nice little stretch of the body to start with. So we're going to stand in our usual place, which is feet under the knees and hips. And we're going to use this weight to roll through the shoulders, squeezing back and down. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, pull them back. I feel this in my shoulder already, so it's not going to be good. Lighter weight. Yeah, that won't help the stretchy bit that I'm about to do. One more. And then we're going to pause here, stop it through your knees, bring your right arm up and straight up to the sky. And then we're going to go over into a little side bend on the exhale. Inhale, back to centre, reaching the arm up. Exhale, over to the side. Inhale, centre. Oh, here we go. Look, late. Same message. You might have to make some room for anything. Even the knot gone. You're welcome to come. You're going to have to then go in the in full view area over there. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. Internet matters. Grab the weight when you're ready. One more, and then drop the weight down. Bring the left arm up and go to the other side. Exhale over. Inhale back to centre. You got the right weight there. Pause. It's all right. You can borrow mine whenever you need to. We're just stretching over. What they want. Two. One more. Then bring your weight down by your side. We're going to let our arms hang in front of us. Now we're going to take a nice deep knee bend, chin to chest, and we're rolling to the floor. Go as far as you can so your hands or weights hit the ground. If they don't, feel free to turn them off on their feet and hold them here. Take your weight into the, take your body weight into your weight, and then push your hips one side, extending the right leg, bending through, and then the other side. So just rotating from the side, from the way, side to side, more like. Feel the legs extending as you sway from one side to the other. Come into the middle, bend the knees, and extend the knees. So let's really stretch out through the hamstrings into the lower back. And then hold in the center, go deeper into that stretching, your weight into your toes, squeezing your belly, melting your chest a bit lower towards the sides. Then bend the knees, look forward with your weight, walk forward, bring yourself down into a plank position, flat body. Roll forward onto the tips of the toes. Pause here. Let's extend the knees. Squeeze the belly and squeeze your butt. And then slowly roll back into the heels. Pause there. Feel the stretch. Keep your hips low. Hips low. Find your center point. Lower your knees to the floor. Keeping your arms where they are, sit back into your heels. You're doing extended spine, child pose with your toes tucked. Melt your head and chest down, looking through your knees. Then roll it out to a neutral spine. You're going to take your right arm, hand, sorry, underneath your chest. Open your knees. Left arm is in a soft position. And we're going to swing up, taking that rotation. And then the arm comes under, feed it, and hover. Go again. Exhale. Inhale. Enjoy this wonderful rotation from the waistline into the ribcage, into your shoulder blades. Make sure you're breathing, most importantly. You're still alive at the end of it. Exactly. We're going to go four more. Reach up. Oh, shoulder. Still not getting better, eh? It was. And then suddenly I woke up today with pain. 
One more, lift all the way up, reach it, and then bring your arm back down, pause here. Keep your body facing down towards the floor. That arm is going to swing up and down eight times. Seven. So absolute stability through your shoulders. You're just squeezing out through the shoulder blades. Keep your elbows soft. Three. Two. One more. And feed it under for a brief moment. Quick stretch. Taking your eye gaze to the waist, enjoying that little rotation. Pull your bottom back away from the arm a little bit to pull yourself going backwards and reach a little bit deeper. Right hand to the, the floor, feed it back through. Set yourself up, box position, knees on the hips. I'm going to swap over to a lighter weight. And we're going to keep on that left arm. So we're going to lift up, drop, knee to weight, curve spine. A reach on the inhale and exhale to curve. We're doing eight repetitions. This is my fifth. Reach up, curl that spine, scoop that belly in. Set a little pause on that arch. Two more. One more. Reach, hold, let's hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, squeeze. Come on, come on, reach it. Two and one. Drop it down. Take a breath. Slide that left arm out to the side as you extend your right arm forward and drop your forehead to the floor. So ideally, you're feeling down the right side of your lap, stretching as you melt down a little bit deeper. Okay. Weight, choose your heavy or light. I'm gonna go a bit heavier behind the knee on that left leg. Staying on your hands for now. Knees drop to your elbows, knees knees go. But if you can stay on your hands for the first part, hover the left knee. We're squeezing up, we're dropping down. So hip extension with a hamstring curl. So just making sure you're putting too much pressure on your shoulder joints. See that little extra squeeze on the top. Five more repetitions, not too fast. What was your last one, Lucia? Yeah. Give me some pulses. Adam? Wait a bit in the air, like you do not care. Get that knee up there with your hip. Don't let it drop lower. Ten, nine, tiny little squeeze. Keep pulling your calf in towards your hamstring. Four, three, two. Now we drop the knee to a hover. If you need to rest it off, do so. But try and keep it hover. Drop down to your right elbow. And then we swing the leg up and back. So just by dropping down onto that elbow, it allows a little bit more give in that hip to then abduct through the thigh. And don't let the foot be higher than the knee. The knee needs to be in level with the foot, or if not, a little bit higher. Four more. Same case going down, going up. Let's hold it up, everybody, up to the sky. Come on, squeeze and pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Eight, seven, higher. Five, four, three, two, just drop it to the floor. Slide both your arms forward, keep your bottom in the air, but your head and chest down towards the floor. Full lap stretch. 
Keep the elbows off the floor. We have not finished on that leg. If you want to take the pressure off, you can release the weight from that leg. So, your right leg, extend, fall of the foot on the floor. You're going to have a slight elevated plank. And then you're going to squeeze that weight and lift the knee to a hover or you keep it slightly relaxed. And we're going to lift straight back up and back to the floor. Now, if you want to just keep both knees down, make sure you're in a half plank and work up, tap down there. Other than that, your right leg is dead straight. We're doing 10 repetitions. Squeezing. How many done, Anthony? Six. Seven. Eight. Drop your hips down a bit more, Anthony. Nine. Eight. Ten. Drop it down. Both knees down. Walk back. Remove the weight. Come up onto your knees. Now, you can have your toes tucked or you can keep the feet flat on the ground. Weight to chest. Or if you want more of a challenge, your weights to here. Now, squeeze your butt and you're going to come back, pausing, quads are engaged, pulling yourself back up to upright. So squeeze and come back in. So you should put that in the quads. Your buttock needs to be fired up. I want you to build your tummy muscles pulling you back up. It looks really easy. That's you... ripped. So you can do, you can do what? This one. How far is it going? Can it? Yeah. My thighs are going to fall off. <laughs> so you want to feel those buttock fire. Four more. Everything needs to be fired here. I need to put more muscle in. I'm going to get back to here. I went too far. Last one. Hit my right thigh just stop you guys. Drop the weight. Take a little arch. Honestly, I actually thought my cock was going to pop out on my leg then. <laughs> If I had gone an inch further, it would have happened. That would have been in hospital. Yeah. Tuck your toes under. Grab hold of those weights again. Keep them nearby. Lift up and walk your weight into the feet. So back to that starting point where you're just hanging forward. Let your head and chest drop. Find that stretch again. Right, we're going to do one of my favourite exercises. And slowly roll yourself up. And you must use the mirrors for this, which is really important, okay? Your knees are soft, your feet are slightly wider. You're going to hinge, hinge, flat back. Your arms about level with your thighs. If you look side onto the mirror, so your arms slightly wider, without moving your body, you just squeeze back, drop back to the front of your knees. Now this is, Amazing for all those back extensor muscles, back to the shoulders, working through posture. So if you're tight in front of your shoulders, this just makes you learn how to use the back of those shoulders. Exhale and now squeeze the shoulder blade, pull your shoulders away from those ears. Look at your positioning in the mirror. We're going to do just three more. And of course, we're going to hold that last one. Lift up. Look at your body position. Lengthen out. Push your bottom back. Hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Squeeze your shoulders together. Lift them high in your hips. Four. Three. Two. And release to the floor. And five. Drop your chest down towards your thighs. Okay, let's take a little walk. And then lower your knees to the ground. 
Take your left hand to the floor, knees wider, right arm swinging, and we're going to lift up, and we're going to V through. Remember, we're trying to get a rotation from your waist. Look up towards the weight to encourage a bit more rotation from your upper spine. Three more. Same pace coming up and going down. You don't have the last one, just drop your weight lightly to the ground. Abs on tight, and let's face out and in. So one arm, reverse slide, squeezing deep into that right shoulder blade, but don't let the rest of your body rotate. Flatten your back, my gaze slightly forward. We need two more big, 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 big squeezes. And on that last one, we briefly stretch it under, lowering your head to the floor and pushing your hips away for the resistance. Like that stretch, lovely rotation and twist in the body. And then release it. Okay, bring your knees and into your hips. Take that weight behind your right leg and squeeze it in. Preferably stay on your hands. If you drop your elbows, do so. Abs on, nice back, flat back. And we lift straight up. And we drop straight down. Back down. Five more of these. Go away. Oh. But everyone else could you. You're not the invisible one. Not even in the mirror. No. Hold your last one up in the air. Let's pulse it. See if you can just pull your um, calf a bit closer in towards your hamstring to act space a little bit more. Keep the knee up level with your hip the whole time. Keep going. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower it to a hover. Or rest it if you need to. Drop down to your left elbow, your right hand very slightly further out. And then when you're ready, we look to that knee and we lift up and down. Squeeze your left butt. Cheek. <laughs> Slowly up, slowly down. Five more. Get the knee higher than your foot if you can. Start to lift up a little bit higher because you know that it's nearly over. So therefore, a little bit of effort does not hurt. Hold up, everybody. Hold up and pulse it. Ten, nine. Get it as high as you can. Squeeze the weight. Don't lose it. Five, four, three, two. And release. Yeah, we have to finish. Just keep the weight pressed behind that knee. Slide your left foot back onto your toes. Engage the abs. If you need to slide your right knee back a bit, do so. And bring yourself lower in a plank. 
So Andy, you can do that this time. Take your right knee a bit further back so you can drop your hips lower. That's it. You ready? Let go. Lift up, drop. Just tap down, lift straight back up. I'm using my weight. Option to do it on both knees, that's fine. You can be here, just working here. Completely flexible. Come on, lift up and down. And again. Five, four, three, two, last one. And release. Release it off. Think it back. Drop it down. Roll it up, flip it around, grab one weight, light or heavy, your choice. Right. Keep the belly in, drop halfway or quarter of the way back, and we do a little shoulder press up. And we drop the elbow to the right, we shoulder press up, we drop the elbow to the left. You can have bend your knees if you prefer. But I'm not going to tell you to lift your legs up to the floor because the second you do that, it's going to strain in your lower back and your core is not as active as it would be if your feet were out of it. You actually get more out of your abs if your legs are on the ground. To be fair, we're just <laughs> Go get eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Hold the center. So you can feel pulses. Feel more. Arm higher. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, last two, last one, and roll it down with your own weight. In the air. Arms up in the air. Bring your weight together. Bend your knees, feet on the ground. We roll up into a bridge. We bend the elbow, pressing our weight behind our head. And then extend our arms back up again. Let's work with the hips. Drop your buttocks, drop your waist behind your head. Lift your hips, lift your waist. Inhale back. Exhale. Now, when you drop your bottom to the ground, see if you can keep your rib cage up in the air. So the only thing that's dropping is from your waist downward into your buttocks. So you're not moving everything up and down, you're just the lower part of your back, allowing that spine extension to occur. Give me eight more. Big, big buttock squeeze at the top. Breathe. And when you do your last one, keeping your bridge, lower your waist down onto your thighs, palms down, then lift the hips, lift the heels, bring the knees slightly closer in, and then press up and down, keeping that weight pressed down into your thighs. Little butt squeezes, get as much height as possible. The tiny little movements, the little add-ons that make a difference. So work deep into it. Pull your hamstrings a bit more active. Give me eight more presses. Squeeze the butt cheek together as you lift high. And when you go to your last one, drop your heels and lower yourself to the ground, bringing your arms down by your side. 
Your right arm is going to go straight up above your shoulder. Your left arm is going out to the side. Your knees are lifting to tabletop. <clears throat> We're going to take knees to the left as our arm opens out to the right to chest fly. Don't let, the, don't let your legs touch the floor. Lift everything up in the middle and then extend and reach your right arm to the outside of your left and your spinal twist. Repeat. And then lift. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, keep your legs straight, work as a pendulum. You need to fix in your core a little bit more in order to let that happen. Reach. Three more, please, everybody. Come on, think about the core. You've all got strength to work this to your maximum without giving up or losing the technique. Now we're coming to our last one. We're all going to reach the legs up high in the centre. We're going to lift that weight up to the outer edge of our ankle. And then we're going to use a little upper up to pull into a pulse, reaching high to the toes. Eight, seven, straighten the knees. Five, four, straighten the legs. Two, and then as we drop down, we lower the head, we drop the arm. We bend the knees and plump the feet on the ground. He'll toe your feet as wide as your mat. Bring the weights back up above your shoulders. Lower your elbows down to the sides of your rib cage so your arms are at 90 degree angle. Squeeze your elbows in. Now lift your hips up into the bridge. Stay wide. Roll into your heels and squeeze up. Your arms are going to press up above your shoulders. You're going to turn your palms forward as you squeeze your weights together, squeezing the knees. And then as you open the knees, part the arms, bend the elbows back down by the sides of the rib cage. So we lift, we squeeze in, we open. We drop, and you can drop your hips a little bit with the movement if you wish. If you don't like it on your heels, put your feet flat down to the ground. Now think about that squeeze into your rib cage as you lower your arms to the floor and pressing everything back up here. Make it more of a blended motion. Up, squeeze, drop, elbows down. Up, squeeze. Drop elbows down. We do six more. Heels up, Anthony. Toes down. Heels up. Toes no. Heels down. Toes up. Okay. What's happened to your leg movement? I'm concentrating on the toes. Now. <laughs> I'm a man. I can only do one thing at once. Hold your last one up. Bend to the sky. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze the weight. Lift the hips, pulse your hips. And if you wish, take your arms back to the floor. I'm not going to go there because my shoulder. To the floor behind you, behind you. That's it. Straighten the arms behind you. Lift the hips. Press your toes down to the ground now and then lift your hips a little bit higher. Eight, seven, six, five. Straighten those elbows if you can. Two. And lift all the way up, lower your bottom to the ground. Take your right arm down, open out to the side, left arm stays where it is. Engage the abs, lift the knees to the tabletop, let go. Over to the right arm to the left, 
back to the middle, extending through the legs and reaching. Everybody got ten to twelve, by the way. Yeah. I have to keep checking because all our numbers are wrong. Mark, are you in? I'm uh... Three more. If you want straight legs, I've got ten out to lift you five more. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't sit well in my head. I did five with straight legs on the other side, so it's, it's all about my counting. My terrible counting. Do you think this is a lovely exercise? Yeah. Probably for the strain of my legs. Now, I'm doing one more. So you also do one more, and then the legs stay up in the air. You reach up to out of the ankle, and we pull. Ten, nine, reach it. Six, stretch the knees, stretch the knees. Three, two, and one, lower the head, lower the arms, slide your hands underneath, legs in the air. Don't leave me hanging on my own. Pull the toes down, push the heels away. Extend those knees. Ten more seconds, don't give up. Straighten those legs, push your soles, your feet to the sky, everybody. One more big deep breath, and then you can point your toes, you can bend your knees, and you can let them drop to the right. Full rotation. Pop your right hand on that thigh with the weight of that weight and take them to spinal rotation. Quick choice of music, this week, by the way. I love this song. It's not a stretchy music. It's just a video of the dancing milk cup. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm. This is, I put this in as a party mix about three years ago. I'm more of a racist than you, though. I've got quite a bit of as of my nine-year-old, you know, he's a and he told me he was a Coldplay fan the other day. Lift the top leg up. Yeah, I've ruined my lap as well. Music man. The other leg drifts. And then they send another wide, yeah? Release your weight, slide your hands on the shin, drive your knees towards your armpits. So the feet fall wide, the knees fall wide, you're opening out in those hips, and then you're driving into the hip flexors by pulling the knees in. We're gonna do one leg at a time. Just keep holding the left, take your right leg flat down into the ground, get a firm grip of the ankle with your right hand, and then pull that knee as close in towards you as you can go. So we'll start with the armpit up where it is, Wrap around and go deep into that stretch. Move that same knee into the center and then take your right hand, catch around the knee, pull the knee up towards your right shoulder, allowing the butt to lift off the floor, and then drive the thigh down and towards the chest. Anybody else find that really horrible? Or am I on my own with this? It's not. Is it? Yeah. I wish it was nice for me. Yeah. 
bring it back to the middle, so somewhere between the two, and just drive it in there. And then lift your head and see if you can bring your nose to your knee, your knees to your nose. Hover your right leg. Do that anyway. Now squeeze your belly to lift into a little mini crunch, then release that leg to the side, arms here, give me hundreds. And I want you to physically count hundreds. Come on. Everything from your shoulder down to your fingertips, legs straight. Go faster. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. I'm on 60. Now lift your shoulders up, pull your fingers further forward. So flap your fingers, Tom, flap from your arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We take hold of that left leg. And we drop our head and shoulders down. And take a stretch. What I should have actually said to you right at the very beginning, grab some bands in case you want to use them or straps. Um, I can go and grab some for you. If you want to go deeper, you stay where you are. If you want to go deeper into the sea hand food stretch, they benefit massively. Just to allow a bit more give. Tom definitely needs one. Double it up. Are you okay, Tom? It's good to stretch your hands for a good minute or so. To breathe work, especially when you've got a band, because that band will just allow a little bit more give every time. Woo! Broke the tail in that way. <laughs> so, right leg down on the ground, flat. Left leg stays straight to the sky. What bands allow you to do is straighten the knee. Take the band in your right hand, move the leg slightly across towards the right hip bone. So the left buttock lightly lifts off the ground, then turn your toes to the right, so you're immediately rotating from the hip, and then drive the toes towards your right shoulder and extend that knee. It's adorable. There's a little nasty stretch for you. And of course, if you're going to do this whole entire hamstring, you may as well do it into the inner thigh too. So we move the leg across, back to its center point. We catch the band in the left hand. I like to use my right and my left for this, so it's up to you. Right, go back to that knee bed. Bend that knee towards your left shoulder. So now my left arm is inside my leg. And my knee is now pointing to the corner of the room. And we open the leg out as wide and as far behind as we can possibly go. If you feel like you're putting your right leg off the floor, it does help sometimes to bend the right knee to an outward froggy position in that leg. And extend the knee. Turn the toes down, heels up to the sky, so we're laterally rotating from the hip. The band allows more give in the knees, so straighten a little bit more. Move it back into the lovely down. Now release the band, bend the knee, pop the foot to the floor. Does my music go on? I don't know what's happened. Close the feet together, knees up to the side, take a little rock through the body. Arms underneath those weights that should be sitting at the side of the shoulders. Bring the knees together, engage your abs, get the knees in. 
and then pop your legs over to the left. Weight goes on that top thigh or hand, and then take that rotation quickly. It's that usual um, Wednesday lunchtime phone call that I get and never get a talk for any other day of the week, no, apart from when I teach. Can you put me? And like I said, only about three people for me. The new life of communication is five to six minutes voice messages from my friends. <laughs> and you have to put it on speed two and hope you get the gist of what they're saying. <laughs> and I am guilty of being a voice message person. I do apologize. I think I've left a couple messages for you guys before, but I don't think there were five minutes. The last one was two and a half, to be honest. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Gee. I never listen to voice mail. Well, Mark will never know what's going on. No. Probably a call, Mark. That's exactly what my husband was saying. Never. Right. Never need to open messages because if it's really important, they'll phone me. Exactly. Or if they've left a voice message, they'll phone me again then. Yeah. Uh, that just gives me anxiety. My only problem is that over six months I've got to empty them all. You've got to delete them all. And that's long. exactly what he says. He's getting well, my husband, Mark. Release the weight. Well, that's awkward. Release <laughs> the weight. You're not allowed to delete it, so you listen to three seconds. It's like that six months ago. Aren't it? Exactly. Lift the leg, the top leg only, up. It's then the bottom leg will follow. And then we park it in the middle. We release our hands and grab hold of the chin and go to a wide hip flexor stretch again. Do you know how many calories my watch says I burn in the last 42 minutes? 93. Really? 19. That's not, the not is it? I don't say I'm that much. That's active calories. It's 153 in total. I don't even pay, pay attention to that. Let go of your left leg, touch the right leg, and drive the knee to that right armpit. Your left hand can grab the ankle and you go deep into the stretch and extend your left leg fully down onto the ground. Burn more calories without me first. Do you know what? You might be right. That might be my intake of oxygen. For some gap of oxygen to increase my blood flow, mm -hmm. heart rate goes higher. Yeah. The, I reckon I burn more calories shouting at my children. <laughs> oh, Dad, they laugh at watching this try to stretch people in poses. And that. Bring that knee slowly across the body. And then put it in towards your left shoulder. So, unpack, so the right arm is more relaxed. The butt tip slightly off the ground. To be fair, it's not about calorie burning this class, day. it's about body shape changing, Tony. Oh, I started Pilates rather well, than yoga, and she makes she changes. Change it quite a bit. Has she? Mm -hmm. It's in the waist. Yeah, well, yoga doesn't do anything for your waistline. But it's great, obviously, for flexibility. And if you don't watch it, you get a flat bum bum doing yoga. And no one wants a flat bum bum. Why well, I did not. <laughs> Back to the centre. And then pull the knee in the middle. Lift your chin towards your chest. Lift up. And then lift your left leg to a hover. Now, when you're ready, Engage those abs, take that leg to the sky, arms forward, 100, round two, let's go. Pumping those arms, extending those legs, squeezing the belly, lifting up as high as you can go, extending the top leg. Lift up, halfway. Flap the fingers, flap the arms, the shoulders connect to your abs. I've lost count. What are we on? Thank you. Thank you. Blood test. 
And then when you've done your last one, you drop the left leg, you catch the right leg, then you come into that light stretch in the hamstring, prepare yourself for the deep stretch in the back. Yeah, Pilates gives you an eight pack. Raising your knees, away, and also walking. Walking is a good back burner. Mm -hmm. How you it's slot then. We walk every day. Do you? Four miles, yeah. Do you? I try to walk when I can, but I can't with the children's back. But not this. I used to go for a Wednesday walk, but the weather sucks. No, it has got raining. I'm going to walk when I get home so I get the kids from after school. Go. Straight in the knee. Push the left one down. Pull the toes in. Push the heels away. Okay, pull the leg gently over towards the left, sliding it the band into the left hand. We want to get the heel drifting above the left hip bone and then turn the toes out. The right bump is very slightly lifted, but don't lift the hip off the ground and then push that leg as straight as possible. We're just working our way around that hamstring. Are you feeling it? And then we carefully feed the band to the right hand. You bend the knee, pointing it out to a high you. The arm slides down the side. And when you're ready, you kick that leg open out to the back of the room. Try to turn the toes down and heels up. Mine just don't like doing that because I'm just not designed that way, but I'm gonna try. And left with your left leg, or feel free to go into a half prop position. I need someone to push my heel up and turn my toes down. I need an assisted stretch, I think, for this one. I would do one busy vibration. <laughs> Pull the toes down towards your right shoulder. Come on. Straight to the knee. Mark, try and get your leg behind rather than out. So put it, put it back up to the side of it and then out towards your right shoulder. Get some more rotators out. That's it. The rest of us, whilst Mark sets us there a few more seconds than us, we're going to come back to the middle. Into the centre. Then, Lift your left leg up to join your right. Mark, come and join us now. Bend your knee quite deeply and then lift your bottom off the floor. So, my probably first burst one, two vertebrae above the top six is off the ground. And then stretch your legs dead straight. Yikes. Come on, dead, dead straight. Head down if you can. We go down. See if you can get your thighs closer in towards your abs without bending those knees. Loads of arm strength needed here. Biceps are fired up. And then ease it up. Release the band. Bring the soles of feet together. Knees open, slide your hands down into those ankles, catching the ankles around the outside edges of your feet, push the heels down, open the knees out. Yeah. <laughs> open the knees wider. Soles of the feet pressed together. Go on, Anthony. Go on. 
Let's go one vertebrae. And we have not finished. We're going to take a wide leg stretch. So everybody get hold of your big toe. Open the leg wide. Now, this doesn't work for you. Get a hold of your legs here and work there. Let's get my fingers in. Leg straight, leg. Come on, come on, come on. Hold your legs instead. And then get your knees straighter. Go on, extend those knees more, guys. Push your bottom down to the ground. Go on, Mark, get your bottom down. Get your bottom down. I do that with my legs, Bring your legs back to the to bend the knees. Slide your hands around the back of the thighs and let's go into a little rolling motion. We're doing this for Anthony. Tuck in, cut spine, so back, roll up. So it's just a little massage into your spine. I can do this with I don't really like it. Right. But you can try on again. It's 17. Forward, roll. Do one more and then roll all the way up, extending your legs out in front of you. We reach the top. Get hold of your band. Take your left ankle over your right, so that leg is now heavy weight on that leg. Then wrap your band around your right foot on its underneath. Lift up tall, and then fold over that leg. Now we're going back into that nasty little stretch into the outside of your right hamstring. Go as far as you can go. Feel the weight going down in that left leg, so that's fixed in and pushing that right leg as straight as possible. Keep hold of the back with your left hand, lift your spine, take your right arm, look out towards it. Wrap it around this is the waistline, lift up and twist as you continue to bring your left arm into bent position to pull yourself forward. And wrap and release. Slide that leg to here. Wrap the right arm around. Face the spine where that left hand goes. We lift up and take a little rotation. Pull the thigh in towards you as you lift and twist up to the direction. Try that one to my head. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And cross that leg. Talk to the other side. So now we're putting the weight down into that left leg. Band around the left foot. Before you fall forward, you get a straight five, and then you drop. Left side. That left back knee push it to the ground. Allow a bit of rotation in the hip. Let the foot turn that in slightly on that left leg. Then we take the bag of the right hand and start. We open the arm out first to the grip. Then we wrap it around the waistline. We lift up and we just turn. And at the same time, lean forward again into that hand grip stretch. Release. Big fan. Slide that foot there. Right hand to face the thigh. Lift up. Pull the thigh in and rotate. As upright as possible. Push the right hip down.
and carefully unravel. Bring the staff into a comfortable place, finish it off, whatever way, it's a tool, hands on knees. Open up. And reach up to the sky. And then we slow them down. We bow, we clap. Thanks, guys. Oh, my virus thing's stopping me from stopping my video. Oh, my goodness. Nope. There we go.